protein synthesis, the first thing we're going to look at is transcription. Uh, what did we say first of all? What happens to DNA? What must happen to DNA first? So what we'll do is we'll just do uh, two triplets. All right. So make it. We'll make it up. G, C, and A. What's the? What pairs up with C? C, G, and T. We're talking about DNA bases. These four here. And between G and C, we have three. many hydrogen bonds. Three hydrogen three. bonds. Two. Three and two. Right, before protein synthesis can occur, the DNA molecule unravels, unwinds. So let's say this is where the, the gene is. So the DNA, where this gene is, the DNA will separate. So an enzyme will break those bonds and these two will separate. So this one, this one will push back. All right, and bases that are floating around in the nucleus will so RNA bases because we're making protein RNA bases will join so we'll do RNA bases in red so what joins to RNA what joins to G C, C. RNA bases C G, G. G again U. and to A uracil Right, so this is a DNA strand. This is the RNA strand, RNA nucleotides. And when the RNA has copied the gene, this is called mRNA, messenger RNA. When it has copied the gene, it detaches from the DNA strand, the DNA gene. And mRNA, messenger RNA travels to the out, out of the nucleus and it travels to a, a ribosome so if this is our ribosome here and what happens is it enters the ribosome so uh, let's say this codes for an amino acid what would you have to have a start code on so we'll just pretend so it's a, it's a specific uh, triplet base that is a start coder Right, so that tells the ribosome to start making the protein. So the start codon has already gone through. So let's say so that's UGC. UGC is the first triplet on the messenger RNA that enters the ribosome. The ribosome will ask a, a tRNA molecule which is floating a tRNA molecule which is floating in the cytoplasm which TNR, tar, tRNA molecule will it ask to come in one that is associated with this so what's associated with C on RNA G, G. G. C and A. A so this one will come in G, C, and A. And this tRNA molecule will be carrying a specific amino acid. So let's say it's AA12. All right. Then the ribosome will read the next triplet and ask the next tRNA molecule to come in from uh, the cytoplasm. So let's say the next sequence is uh, uh, GCC. What's what tRNA molecule will come in to, to bind to this? G, G, G and C. C. And let's say GGC, this tRNA molecule always carries a, an amino acid, 7. What now happens to these amino acids? They get joined together until this continues happening. TRNAs come in, drop off amino acids and go back into the cytoplasm to pick up another amino, amino acids and bring them in. It will continue to happen until the ribosome reaps, reads the stop codon here and then the assembly of amino acids will stop 
Okay. Right. We said these this triplet, these are called codons. These ones are called anticodons. All right, they're triplets. Anticodons triplets are found on tRNA. All right. So, transcription was this bit. Copying DNA to message RNA, that's transcription. Translation is this bit, where the messenger RNA is read, and what's made? A protein, this is a translation. The messenger RNA is read by the ribosome, and a sequence of amino acids are joined together to make a protein.